Goddess Earth within murmurs to the uh, her naked Earth man in bed. Wow. How amazing to get under the skin of those uh, mythological chicks like Persephone, the Oracle of Delphi, and, uh, goddesses for the ages, yeah. Earthman mirrors back to his naked self within. Uh, yeah, we've got paradise in the palm of our hand. Earthman purrs with contentment uh, and urges us to get under the covers, pull the covers over our head, and under the warm quilt blankets. My God, as Earth and, uh, unfolds his Ruvada Sanskrit for God. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, miraculously, uh, <clears throat> uh, Earth Man's uh, diary uh, still has uh, another chapter intact. <laughs> Almost unbelievably, this way less than archived uh, <clears throat> memoir has survived more than four decades of uh, weather and uh, goat fall things. Urine. Smells like a morning. Uh, in uh, Earthman's uh, last nostal uh, nostalgic story, uh, no character is harmed. Rather, uh, everyone gets more spiritually aware and sexually tanked up. <laughs> uh, yeah. Last story before we depart to India and Indonesia. Yeah, we're going around the world. There's heaps of hashish in the story, too. <laughs> well, my goddess maintains a slow, rising central rhythm. Striking my palace mm -hmm. until we surface from the blankets, and uh, I read Earth and her little sexy bedtime story about Cleo, and uh, she becomes Cleo. Uh, yeah, she strokes me uh, not enough to uh, make me work out. You know, the goddess is the uh, masterfully uh, sustains uh, me on the plateau of tantric pleasure. Mm. Mm -hmm. Micro movements before orgasm. Ah, so I got a full body rise without needing to inspiring me, oh yeah, to uh, narrate uh, th this fav uh, fable about the most apocalyptic bird in the history of Greece. Yeah, this apocalyptic bird, the sp spiritual ruler of Patmos Adam. Rides a lazy updraft of wind above pot mows, sparing itself uh, the hassle of flapping its wings. Uh, yeah, she flies north over Samos and the Carmelia for a few kilometers before veering. In a wide arc, around uh, Noxus, 
Captain Amorius. Shh, don't tell anybody. The most fantastic Greek island ever. Amorgos. Yeah. Um, then, for the fun of it, Shiva Hawk does a flip and roll to put Potmos back in his sights. Yeah. Uh, after all, he was hatched uh, in the cliff by the cave of St. John. And he works this small island for a living. Yeah. Shiva looks down and computes the width the pot mouse 11 kilometers and breadth 7 kilometers in a microsecond. Shiva Hawk tucks his wings in and dives down to uh, the shining crown of pot mouse, the monastery of Christodolus on the summit of the island. Hawkeyes. Monks are throwing out some food scraps. Nice, I'm sure to follow. Oh, yeah. The monastery of Christodolus, uh, the wealthiest in the Dodecanese. Uh, Shiva Hawk flies by the treasury, sumptuous stash, and is 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 bedazzled by the intense glitter. Well, what? Uh, well, perhaps it's those uh, medallions that Peter the Great of Russia humbly bequeathed to the Papas. The Papas. Or uh, could be those jewel-encrusted bishop staffs or the vestments Gold and silver thread? This treasury, the finest in the Aegean. Mm -hmm. 200 icons painted as far back as the 11th century. Yeah, this magnificent treasury safeguards a fabulous oversized Gospel of Mark. Uh, purple parchment, gold and silver ink, in ancient Greek, script, and, uh, 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 Earthy, we need a, a GPS on the monastery treasure room of Christodolus Monastery, yeah, a thousand years ago. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, uh, uh, I want to tell you how uh, this obscure Greek monastery ended up with this monumental amount of treasure. Pretty simple. It's John's fault. Well, this needs to explain. <sighs> Long before. Uh, well, now, uh, uh, one of the 12 original disciples of Jesus, named John, uh, he was uh, evangelizing in public, uh, yeah, preaching uh, to the street crowds in Ephesus. You know that bustling port uh, in the Eastern Roman Empire, Ephesus? just across the waters from here. Yeah, and, uh, you know, fearless zealot. We've got him on every street corner in San Francisco. Just get off the ferry building, walk up Market Street, and especially around the cable cars. You're in line, you've been there half an hour. You gotta go up the cable car, you know, the cable car bell guys, and uh, up and over the hill, up and over Chinatown, come out in Fisherman's Wharf, or you know, 
You can't just eat the, the, the sourdough bread, have some Ghirardelli chocolate, and call it a day. You're a tourist? And this guy's shouting? Christian in your face? Well, that didn't go over very well with the Emperor Domitian either, the Roman Empire. What did he do with John? They sent a centurion guards and uh, busted him. Roped up his hands. Put him on a ship and shipped him to the most forgotten isle they could think of, where they made a penal colony. Let's, you know, Alcatraz of San Francisco, Patmos of Aegean. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, they busted him for what was the charge? Improper emperor worship. Uh, well, uh, before they uh, took him uh, uh, to uh, uh, Potmos, uh, they, they had a little uh, scene uh, where they boiled John in oil. Straight out. Yeah, they did that. Okay. Well, uh, in the, these early days, uh, the Eastern Mediterranean was just like uh, a, a little part of the Roman Empire, like a province. You know, they, had, uh, they had the Jews paying taxes, too. The tax collectors had no fear, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And what are you going to do with all these uh, 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 severe... Imperial agitators. Uh, yeah. Domitian built a penal colony, Patmos. Uh, that's why, like, when you read the Revelation, it starts off, I, John of Patmos, son of Zebedee, and. Well, that's just the mellow beginning. <laughs> it gets a lot more intense. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. The Roman, remember uh, your Roman history. You did go to history class at some point. That uh, Rome did not convert to Christianity until 313 after they <coughs> hung up that guy and attacked him on the... <laughs> yeah, oh... Um, so, uh, emperor worship was definitely in, okay? And uh, John and uh, Christianity was definitely out. Uh, mm, yeah, but John's still alive. Uh, so, uh, yeah. They quarantined him on Patmos, but he was still free to, to preach. Oh, there goes the passing pirate ship. Well, let me tell them about. Uh, oh, a flock of pelicans. Hey, you guys really need to know. And no sweat off Rome, huh? Just whatever. Uh, well, in John 15, he do a hard one. Quarry work? Not fun. Breaking rocks for nothing? Well, on his cell wall, John chiseled the earliest uh, Christian graffiti. Emperor worship sucks. You know, graffiti with highlighted kind of 3D letters shaded and sucks. S-U-X. Riss was getting tired by that time. Uh, yeah, he he was compassionate, like Jesus. He sheltered a one-winged pelican in his cell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Extremely slack uh, <coughs> at forced labor. Mm -hmm. Well, faking work. Yeah. Uh, he often hid halfway up the mountain in the very remote... Uh, hawk nest cave. 